day four, Riding with the Stars. And today's young saint of the day is Saint Teresa of Jesus, and she was more affectionately known as Juanita. And say Juanita was born in Santiago de Chile into a Catholic good family. But you might think, oh, every saint is born holy or saintly or pious and walks around with a halo over their head. But think again, now with St. Teresa of Jesus of Andes, uh, Juanita was a, a, a person who was very rude. She was proud, self-centered. Um, she had this outburst of anger. Everyone had a difficult time with her, especially as teachers, parents, everyone. She was this obnoxious, rude. And it's like, Father, how can you talk about a saint like this? It's true. But she did make her transformation, life-changing moment at her first Holy Communion. And who prepared her? her? Her very own brother. Her older brother prepared her months in advance, teaching her about virtues, mortification, about the faith. And she received our Lord in the Holy Eucharist, and she made this life-changing transformation. And ever since this moment, she started to fall in love with Christ. It takes a day after day, patience, habit, dis firm disposition to choose to do good. And so she started to change. And she wanted to give this to everyone. And so ever since this moment, she made this transformation. She hung out with her friends. She loved dancing and singing. Her favorite activity was horseback riding. And she was this ordinary girl who wanted to just give Jesus to everywhere she was. College, her friends, um, just everyone, her cousins, relative, everything. She wanted to give this profound and precious gift of Jesus himself. And at the end of her life, two years before she died, she decided to join the Carmelite nuns. Um, and she was influenced by the French sisters at her school who taught her. And so she decided to become and dedicate her life for Christ. And she made her professional vows and private vows, actually, at a young age, younger age. But right before she died on her deathbed, she had special permission to take professional vows and she became and gave her life for Christ right before she died and she took all of this as providence and God's love and she offered it up for Christ and this is what happens when we spend time in before our Lord in the Holy Eucharist so what can we learn from St. Therese who was born just is lived 19 years from 1900s to 1920 and this young girl can teach us this beautiful gift of the Holy Eucharist. And and what can we take away? Especially this Advent season, we are also preparing for the baby Jesus so we can learn ourselves and prepare ourselves with virtues. And, and what is a virtue? It's this uh, habitual and firm disposition to do good. This is what the Catechism says. And so let's make that habit of receiving God not just on Sundays or one moment of our life, but every single day. And so I would like to encourage just two things. First is for our you know, the parents who are watching to encourage the children and not just children, just not just to send them off to CCD class or to school and okay, they're gonna fix them and prepare them for Holy Communion. But we as a whole family can prepare for Holy Communion. And this is the greatest gift that anyone can ask us. I know many families who, who prepare as a whole family, making, taking small little sacrifices. This encourages the, the children. They learn from you. And so let's take up that uh, responsibility to prepare ourselves for the baby Jesus by going maybe a few more times during the week for Holy Communion, for Holy Eucharist, for Holy Mass. And so my second thing uh, is uh, this daily reception of the Holy Eucharist. How Val are we, have we lost the value? Have we kind of reduced it to a fact that just, oh, it's online, it's COVID, I'm not gonna make the effort to go. But I think, you know, it it's an effort that we all have to make each and every day. It takes just out of habit, a firm disposition to really receive God in the Holy Eucharist. And what, it, what does it do? It transforms our life. A saint said, being in the presence of the Eucharist is like being out in the sun. We slowly make this change of color, uh, maybe of tan or of dark. I get kind of dark and like a burnt cookie, but it's like that. It's like being under the sun. 
especially when you're in the Holy Eucharist. You start changing. You make a U-turn. You take all your proud, uh, full, your, your pride and self-centeredness and you make a U-turn. It changes, transformation. And so maybe not just on Sundays, we can have this, uh, as a family, go out to church with our masks, with socially distance, but we are there for Christ alone. And so today, let's learn from St. Teresa of Jesus, of, of Jesus of Andes, and let's make that uh, this source and summit of our faith, especially, especially in this Advent season also, to prepare for our baby Jesus, that He is a God who became man, flesh, and He wants to be in our hearts so that we can totally give our life for Jesus, just like St. Teresa of Jesus did. And so for this, let's pray. God bless you, pray for me, and see you soon. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, now, always, and forever. Today's challenge. Let's pray for all the children who are preparing for their first Holy Communion. Also, if you have a photograph of your first Holy Communion, make it your WhatsApp status. Ejaculatory Prayer Lord, I am all yours.